Hey guys, me Mr. Casual, and in this video we're going to be talking about the Colby Covington and Masvidal altercation video that just happened a few hours ago, so let's get into it. Alright, so basically from what I've seen in all the YouTube videos and all the, and all the articles, basically Colby was hanging out with Bob Menery and a few of the people from Nelk at a restaurant, and Bob Menery would put on his Instagram story of, of him with Colby, and I guess that's how Masvidal found Colby, um, and then supposedly, um, allegedly, um, Masvidal sucker punch Colby twice um and they, they say Colby's tooth got chipped or it got knocked out we're not sure about what exactly happened and and then Mazda's um, manager was like thanks Bob Mennery the guy from Nelk basically and people uh, implying that like Bob Mennery set up Colby so my opinion is I don't think Bob Mennery set up Colby I think he was just hanging out with Colby and put Colby on his story not knowing that Mazda was gonna look at his story and and, and, you know, try to track Colby down. Like, nobody, they thought they were just hanging out. No, nobody thought, you know, anything of it. It's, it was very common with, like, celebrities to be hanging out with fighters, especially after a big win like, against Masvidal, you know? It's, it's, like, it's very like, common. It's not, like, a crazy big deal. And, and the funny, and the crazy thing was, and then Nate Diaz, and Bob Henry's, like, he made, like, a tweet or something. He's like, not cool, bro. And then Nate Diaz, like, said, call him, he said some shit, like, big old pussy. Uh, and bro, so Nate Diaz called Bob Henry, um, a posty and then Jake Paul says something like this like this isn't right or something like Jake Paul was like also chimed in and, and went against Mazda but whatever and you know there's like two sides to this whole thing right like there's a side that it's like oh you know you're a professional fighter you shouldn't be fighting in the streets sucker punching people and you're almost you're 37 years old it's saying right I get it then there's a side like nah fuck that bro he was talking shit about you know your, your your family, your 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 history, your kids, blah blah, talking mad shit. As a man, you gotta you know handle your business and fuck them up, blah blah blah, right? Those are the two sides, and there's people people on one side, people on the other side. So my opinion, personally, right, like like or let me let me say what I think. Like for instance, I think they're both a little bit right. You gotta find like the the in the middle of the solution, right? You gotta be professional. At the same time, you don't want to like, like I don't know, I I don't want to see Masvidal or Kobe get hurt. Either one of them get hurt. I don't want to see either one of them go to jail, you know. And I don't want to see any either one of them get kicked out of the UFC because of this stunt. Because this remi reminded me of the Brian Ortega slapping uh, the Korean zombies, um, Jay Park, translator or whatever. Remember Brian Ortega slapped Jay Park for that. And and this this remind this remind me of that a lot, you know. And it also remind me of the Conor McGregor Dolly thing, in um the Barclays Center. Like, you know, like, in the street fight, in this kind of situation, there's no rules. Anything can happen. It puts everyone's lives in danger, puts your your freedom in danger, and it puts your UFC career in danger. So you're putting your life, your freedom, and your career in danger all at once. All because, I know, you, I know like, Mazda has a big grudge with Kobe. I know it runs deep because they were best, former best friends, and now they're, like, enemies. And I, I know the hatred runs deep, especially when it's your ex-best friend. Like, the hatred, there's no hatred above that, right? Because you know, like, you know each other's secrets, everything. Like, I get it. It's just sad that it's come to this. You know, I really wish they would could have resolved it after their last fight. But obviously, I thought after they fought, they would be, like, cool and shit, right? But then I saw, like, they didn't even shake hands. Like, not nah, fuck this, bro. They were, like, literally, like, fucking, like, 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 like cursing each other out after the, after they fought. They still, they still, still, still yapping at each other. They still hate each other. So, like, I don't see how this can be resolved, like, without... Because you know is going to keep doing this. He did that to Leon Edwards, too. That Also, that, I forgot about that. It reminded me of the Leon Edwards thing with Mazel, the backstage thing, like... You know what I mean? And, and remember Mazel and him and Bisbing almost got into it backstage? You know, now it's Colby. So, like, this is like a trend with Mazel, You know, like, Leon Edwards, Bisbing, and now Colby. I mean, I'm not saying anything bad against Mazel, you know, but it's like... He can get kicked out of the UFC because of this, bro. Like, you think Dana White wants Mazda sucker punching his fighters that Dana White pays mad money to? Like, you know, like Dana White pays Colby a lot of money to be to you know to fight. You think Dana White wants his fighters to get injured, and, and um, you know, because because of personal vendettas and stuff? No, this, Dana White's not gonna like this. Like, I'm still waiting for Dana White's reaction to this. Think about it, if you're Dana White, right? You're paying Colby six hundred k, seven hundred k to fight, right? And then Mazda's over here trying to sucker punch. Colby while he's at the dinner. It's a bad look for on the UFC. It's a bad look for everybody in, uh, involved. And and this costs Dana White money. And we all know how Dana White loves money. So, you know? 
And it's just, it's just bad for both of them in general. Like, you know, like I said, freedom in danger, life in danger, career in danger. It's not worth it. I wish they could resolve this somehow. Like, I wish they would like, agree to go to some gym or something, like, off camera and just fight it out. Like, boxing only, no wrestling. And, like, and then maybe become friends after that or at least neutral and respect each other. Because I honestly don't see this thing ending anytime soon. Like, I feel like Mazadov really has that hatred for Colby. The fact that he would look at someone's Instagram story just to find him at a restaurant, that's some, like, psycho shit, bro. That's, like, some... That's crazy to me, bro. Like, that's really next-level shit, bro. So, like, I don't know how they can resolve this, but I don't want to see either one of them get hurt or, any, or, or kicked out of the UFC or go to jail. Because Mazel, I think, is being charged with um felony assault. You know? And I think if Colby presses charges, it'll be even worse. That's that, Those are serious charges, you know? So, I hope Mazel doesn't go to jail, you know? But anyways, guys, it's me, Mr. Casual. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, be safe, everybody, all right? <laughs>